All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we're going to be taking a look at everything that I picked up in the month of June 2022. Not a crazy big pickups video this time around, only four items and only one of them is an omnibus. I don't know if there was some, like, um, setbacks for some of the, the omnibus that were supposed to come out in June that got pushed back until a, another month. I do know that there's quite a few for, for the rest of the year. Every once in a while I'll get an email notification. I take a look at it sometimes, and I just say, okay... What, what what book is it? And, and then I usually forget. I'm like, as long as I get the book at some point in time, I'll be happy. Uh, but I do have one additional omnibus that I forgot to mention. And I think it was the, the May pickups. I did an overview for it, but I forgot to mention that I did pick up The Incredible Hulk. I, I, I think this was in May that it came out. And... The Incredible Hulk Volume 4 is a blasphemy to exclude because that this is what got me into comics. This is not only what made me a, a big fan of The Incredible Hulk, and my first favorite superhero ever was The Incredible Hulk, and that was because of the comics that I have in the back here. I'm looking at some of the covers, which to me are just absolutely fantastic. I, I This is my kind of stuff. The 90s there, great stuff. Just inc ugh, beautiful, beautiful art. Um, and now we have the full set for Peter David for, for, for volumes one to four. We did also get an announcement that volume five is coming out. So for some of the Peter David Hulk stuff that he did later on, really happy to hear that. I'm hoping that all of this Hulk material sells really well. I assume that the, the Peter David stuff did. And I hope that it, it makes Marvel say, okay, we can start making a few, uh, and that, that Marvel says, okay, we're gonna, we gotta continue pushing out stuff. I know that Peter David is probably definitely gonna sell more than anything else that Marvel could have other than the, the World uh, World War Hulk and Planet Hulk. Um, I feel like those are the biggest stories that they could have for Hulk potentially, but I still want to have all, all those gaps filled out. I would love to have stuff from the 60s, the Silver Age, all the way until the 2000s. Uh, obviously, I would like it up until it's current. But um, it, actually, I was just thinking, you know what? They, they could maybe do uh, Immortal Hulk. They could probably do a modern run of Immortal Hulk, and I think that that would sell pretty well if they did all of that in, uh, in an omnibus. So I could see that potentially being uh, something that would do really well as well. But uh, I, I want I want gaps filled in. I want to be able to read from the Incredible Hulk 1962 or whatever it came out until 2000. I would just love that. 40 years of a character would be awesome. Anyway, let's dive into some other stuff that I picked up. Trails of uh, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4. And I believe this is the frontline edition. I don't know necessarily what else comes with this pack. It does feel a little bit chunkier, like there's more stuff in here. Maybe like a a cd or something like that uh i might I, I could eventually do an unboxing for this and take a look at what is included oh a mini art book and a cd as well did not expect I, official soundtrack is kind of what i was expecting but an art book i like art art books this is like an old school rpg that that's one of the reasons why i like this series so much um so now i have the full, full trails of cold steel one to four there's also uh, quite a few Trails games coming out uh, because there's other Legend of or no, there's other Legend of Heroes games coming out uh, that are that were happening at the same time as the Trails of Cold Steel games, uh, and I think that they're going to make one game that kind of meshes them all together, so all the storylines from the Trails of Cold Steel and the other stories that are kind of going on conclude at the end. I think Trails of Azure is, is the next one potentially, or, or, or coming out very soon is, is one of the other ones that's coming out. So really looking forward to that. Glad I have all the Trails of Cold Steel games, and a lot of them are coming out for Switch. I think Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 are coming out for Switch, and anything going forward is also going to be on the Switch as well. I started with the PlayStation though, so I'm going to continue getting them on PlayStation most likely. Unless I stand up playing one of these games and be like, okay, that's totally like a Switch game. If any of them, I think if I think some of them might be sprite based instead of like these are more like modern RPGs. Um, if any of them are sprite based, I I could end up getting that on Switch because I feel like the sprite based games are are totally at home on the Switch. Then now we've got some movies. Uh, so the Firm with Tom Cruise, I got into a Tom Cruise kick because I wanted to go see Top Gun Maverick, uh, which I finally saw just recently, and it it's just shattered all my expectations that was an inc incredible film um top gun one from 1986 is the year that i was born so i should have watched that right away because I, I really like tom cruise's work in his movies like his action movies mission impossibles uh, the entire series is almost all perfect except for maybe mission impossible 2 i didn't really like that not the first one from the 90s is, is a 90s classic uh and then afterwards it kind of just slowly gets better especially for once you get to four, it's just nonstop fun. The Ghost Protocol and 
Fallout are absolutely a blast. And then you have Collateral, you have Minority Report, uh, The Last Samurai. He's done uh, Edge of Tomorrow, uh, hit the first Jack Reacher movie. He's had quite a few movies that I really enjoyed. And it seems as though when it's a passion project, he really wants to make it as good as possible, which he did with T Top Gun Maverick. I think Top Gun Maverick might just be his best movie of all time. But anyway, I was, I was in a Tom Cruise mood when I watched Top Gun 1, uh, which is not the greatest movie. Uh, so I ended up getting The Firm on Blu-ray. This is an okay movie. I, I had seen it before. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I, I choked on oh, my own air there. I don't know if you caught that. Um, <coughs> geez. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, but uh, The Firm, it's an okay movie. Uh, Gene Hackman's in this, and you, I, I wanted a little bit more from Gene Hackman uh, in this movie because I, I really do like him as an actor, and he can be an awesome character sometimes and he was he was still good in this but it, it's more so about Cruz in here and uh the story itself is okay i'd say it's it's about a six uh whereas a few good men on a uh, 4k this was just i really enjoyed this this is much more like seven maybe even an eight this is one of Cruz's best uh jack nicholson is great in this Ke um uh, kevin bacon Demi, Demi moore um uh what's his name the guy. Sutherland, Akifa Sutherland's in this too. I can't remember what his name is. Um, Kevin Polak, I think, potentially. He's in The Usual Suspects. He he was, you know, he had quite a few movies in the 90s and then I, he, I, I never heard from him again. Uh, but that's a really good movie. I might end up going, I, I'm kind of in a Tom Cruise kick, so I might get a few other movies that if I can get them in 4K. I wish I could, could have gotten The Firm. And, well, does it deserve to be in 4K? This one does. This one deserves to be in the collection for 4K. And I got these for 10 and probably 20. Don't remember how much this one was. I don't know if I got it from... I got it from Amazon. I think it was 60. I think it was 60. Maybe I got lucky and it was 40. I don't remember though. And last but not least, we've got Teen Titans by Jeff Johns. Um, you, you've, if you've seen the overview for this, uh, I, I gushed about how how much I'm happy that, you know, anything that Jeff Johns makes, I'm going to pick up. And I, so I was so happy to have this. And just also the eye for this, like the build of this book is just top notch. Like, Bring it on DC. Your massive books are just blowing my mind. I can probably even show you just on camera here. Uh, yeah, there you go. There. Look at that. Just look at it. That's that's wild. Like, I don't know how many pages this is anymore off the top of my head, but it's massive. I don't know if it's 1,500. It, it's at least 13. It has to be at least 13. Maybe 1,500. Anyway, that's everything that I picked up in the month of June 2022. Happy with uh, with uh, the few things that I did pick up. I, I think I'm going to pick up a few more movies and possibly some books as well. Uh, next month and they're going to be like guilty pleasures you'll, you'll see what i'm talking about when i get there if i end up ordering them so thank you all for watching you have been bearded in beardage